Yeah, ho, Prof here. Um, we've had a couple people, uh, and one person in particular, have interest in my extra not really fitting case labs parts after they, I, they saw my video about all the issues I had. Here on the bed is all of the individual parts. Uh, one even still in the plastic wrap. Um, and uh, we'll go over what they are. You basically have enough to build an entire case minus any panels. Um, this part here, this one uh, was, and it, I know it's fully good. This is the bottom panel. It was still in plastic as well. Something got on that though, and I had to throw it out. Uh, not the panel, obviously, the plastic. Uh, this is a bottom, if I recall. This one is 100% good i tended to keep the good pieces still in plastic um so that is your bottom like see there's where you're screwing your casters from what i can tell those casters are standard spacing for your normal stuff and uh here let's take a look at this piece here this all right let's see if i can lean it up Ooh, that's a little bit. There you go. That piece there, that's how it would be on the case there. Um, oh, no, this is the top. So imagine this like that. That's for passing your uh, cables through for your fans up top. Or even possibly if you have a cross flow rad, this is wide enough to pass tubing to your cross flow. Um, this, I think, has some, you can see some scratches, and it's not like de-threaded or anything, but uh, if I recall, some of the threading on this isn't correct. Like, these might be opposite, like that one needs to be there, that one needs to be there. You might be able to tap the aluminum directly, or you could just use like a nut and a bolt. Um, if you watch my original issue video... That will probably go into, because a lot of these panels are, uh, when they sent me new ones, the first time they wanted the originals back, after that, and because they it took, I want to say, three major shipments and two minor shipments to finally get it resolved. And I only got my last piece, I want to say less than a month before they actually um, announced the closing of the company and that last piece was the correct version of this right here which is the this is what separates the bottom and the top of the case um i guess i can pull it out that seems like a lot of work because it's still taped and everything but yeah this is the the piece that separates the top and the bottom and uh if you're wondering uh, my case, when you look at it from this, okay, imagine uh, I have my cases reversed. So normally you're, you're well, we got a computer case here behind all these nerf guns. Um, see, your side panel is here, rear fan's there, and the front's on that side, right? Uh, so this makes sense for this here because this is the, this is what you'd see on the leading edge when you open the door, um, or, you know, either way. Um, and then this is the front where you can take that piece out for the five and a quarter inch bays if you need them and your fans. And then the motherboard tray goes right here, right? And then um, that's your cable management room, right? However, my case is the reverse. So if you put this the correct way, um, it doesn't work. So this is the now the correct orientation because my case is reversed and upside down. So that's where the five and a quarter inch base should be. But now your cable management is toward the front of the case. So I believe in that other, in basically a lot of these pieces I got on the prototyped one that was reverse, like was their first, like I got sent the first reverse upside down one and I was somehow sent the prototype, not my actual one or something like that. Or I got the prototype. I don't know. Um, some of these pieces are not actually for that. So this is actually a normal right side up, uh, mid plate, if you want to call it that, I guess. Mid plate's a good, a good word for it. 
Um, then here we have the back of the back of the case here. Uh, one thing I do not have is there's a big panel. You can see these big four screws. That is what the motherboard tray screws into. I also do not have a motherboard tray. Um, but this is the back piece. Goes like that. Um, hold on. There you go. There you go. Goes like that. Dual power supplies on the bottom. Thing for transferring cables through. Then that's your motherboard tray um, and rear I.O. and PCI brackets. That's so they can easily, like this is the same piece if you have right, left, upside down. Uh, what's wrong with this one is for my upside down reverse, even though they designed this where the piece, this piece can be in any orientation, right? Your screw holes have to be different. They did not align, if I recall, the, the various screw holes do not line up on this one to match mine. So we only got like half the screws in that we're supposed to. Um, and some of the ones we got in were it, like, eh, they really didn't hit. So you can kind of see one right there. Like that's where we tried to put in a screw and it was supposed to go there. And we were kind of screwing in right there. So, so there's something to something to be aware of. Um, so a lot of these pieces are, and this is for the upside down reverse one truthfully if you make it into a normal one they might actually fit correctly because it it seems like that um so on my case this is the front piece i need a, a drill that doesn't roll and we will use the dewalt um so on my case this piece which is the front of the frame of the case. So I essentially have the whole frame, the top, bottom, back, uh, you know, all four sides pieces, all, you know, like top, back, bottom, front, and then the mid plate. Um, this is going to be the front. So on mine, it looks like that. Um, now, if you got, and that's because mine has the cable management here, because that's the back of mine. Now, uh, that doesn't work. Or it doesn't really all screw in. I don't remember if it's the top parts that don't screw in. Or if it's the... Because uh, all of these are supposed to screw in too. Um, or if it where it meets the mid plate. Um, it's all kind of screwy. So, uh, yeah. You're definitely going to have to... Uh, if you want it in the normal orientation or something, you're going to have to, like, drill and tap. Or even the correct, or like, my reversed upside-down one, you're going to have to drill and tap or use bolts or something like that um, to get it to actually have all the screw holes hold together. Because if you watch that original video, we had maybe half. Like I said, like, it, things just didn't line up correctly. Um, this also, if I recall, something with the front I.O. didn't line up. Um... It's all the issues are in that video. So you can make, like, these are fully viable pieces of metal. Um, you're just going to have to do some work and probably some kind of DIY, unless you know how to do, like, those inserts into the aluminum and stuff, some DIY tapping or screws or bolts or something um, to get it to, to do what you want. But the frame's here. Now you have to find a motherboard tray. Um... And I have that coming up. Uh, not the motherboard tray, but the thing that holds that. So here is the piece I'm talking about. By the way, all these are pretty darn light because they're aluminum. Ooh, I think we gotta go the opposite way. Or we'll go like this. So in my case, that's how that's supposed to sit. Uh, because you're looking in the panel this way. Motherboard comes in. From that way this is the atx or an extended atx motherboard not the ssi ceb that would be cut out far far farther um and this is the back technically of that so you would and then i can show you the 
this is what you would actually see. That's what you'd actually see with, through the side panel, essentially. You know, I have my res there, thick rad, 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 or uh, no, no rad in the front. Maybe I have a rad in the front? I don't remember anymore, guys. Yeah, there should, I think, be a rad in the front, rad in the top on mine. Because I kept the whole, a lot of people put reds in the bottom. And that's kind of cool and all, but uh, when you have dual power supplies and you need optical drives on a hot swap, not going to happen. Also... I had plenty of room because I didn't go for, like, dual reses or something. Just, you know, a decent-sized one, not even a big one. Um, and uh, so here's a small... I forget what of this doesn't fit. It, it, like I said, it'll go back and watch my issue video. It'll be in there. I'm pretty sure it's these screws on the bottom or the top. Not enough of them line up. Um, and that's probably for my upside-down reverse build. I never tried building it the other way because... That's not what I wanted. I have wanted a, like, a reversed side panel on the other side, build upside down, build. Since I saw that after building computers very early on. Um, and then I, I was also always wanted, after having my Antec 900, and being able, in the later 1200 as well, you can put the optical drive in the bottom and keep all the weight in the bottom of your case, uh, like drives and stuff like that. Um, I always wanted to be able to do that. And this is like the first case because you basically designed it yourself. That's what was so hard about ordering it. And I was asking for help from them is you really got to tell them what you want. But in my opinion, it was super, super, super hard to figure out like what I wanted or how to do it. So on mine, that's how that would sit. And if you see the K the case labs logo is actually the correct way. Um, however, that doesn't actually fit. Uh, this spacing here is wrong for the IO. Um, I think it's like, once again, they didn't center it, I think, or it's not wide enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, those two don't line up. Like, I think these two are supposed to be there and there or something. So it doesn't actually like snap in properly. You could, you could theoretically live without that, but when you're spending this much on a case, you shouldn't have to. Now, my replacement ended up being correct, but once again, they screwed up because they, I don't know if they didn't remember or something that I had an upside down reversed one. My logo is upside down and in the wrong spot. Um, and they sent me another, a sticker to replace it. I'm keeping it there just because, you know, people ask about it and I can tell them the whole story. And I really don't care. Um, I really, really cared about the functionality of this case. It's got wheels. It's massive. I finally got my upside down reverse thing. I mean, I make it look decent, but, you know. Um, and yes, the inside pieces are gray and the outside is black that's how i ordered mine uh because i don't like black interiors on cases but i i also don't like the whole like black and red black and blue black and green black and yeah any of those like you know or like these extreme usb 3.0 flash drives here like no i'm not into that vibe I like i like that keyboard though it's my uh unicomp endura pro great for setting up computers because She's got a little track point in there. Oop. Got to put this away real quick. Um, but yeah, that is the last piece then. So I have, like I said, I have the entire frame. Uh, and like that's the, that's the entire frame, essentially. You're going to need to find a motherboard tray. I was only ever given one of those, and I like tried to get another one. Um, but we made the one I had work because uh, there's sliders that go on the back here and those are adjustable. Um, so we could we could finagle the one I had, but I basically could have had a second case w if I would have had a motherboard tray. I mean, and you can fit this into a case and then I do have a front. Um, the main reason uh, why I'm not using that is because, like I said, just some of the snaps don't line up. It physically lines up, like, in the right spots and everything. Um, and that's mentioned in that original video, I do believe. If you really have more in-depth questions, I can look into the giant, you know, like, pages upon pages upon pages email thread that we have. Because I think it was a total of five shipments, three major ones, uh, like, big, big boxes. And I think I only had to send stuff back once or twice. 
um because they just started not wanting it back i don't know maybe they knew they were closing or like they didn't have any use for these messed up parts but hey if one of you guys can make use of these please hit me up you know they're available uh obviously for a price and you gotta pay shipping which is gonna suck um just let me know what your price is so otherwise they're just sitting here so but yeah it, especially if you can get a hold of this is an entire frame and a front cover <laughs> so yeah hopefully some of you will get interested in this or maybe you managed to find other people with extra parts or something like that or there was a closeout from case labs at some point um i know was it performance pcs might have kept some extra well at some point so maybe they, they liquidated or something but uh yeah if you have any questions, hit me either down below in the comments or at the Prophecist on Twitter is probably the easiest thing. Um, you can also join our Discord. That's linked, I uh, think, on the channel's uh, Twitter, I believe. Or you might be able to double check in the, in the description of this video. I don't really remember. My bad. Um, and yeah, uh, at some point we're going to be taking apart and cleaning up my main build. Because it needs the loop cleaned, and it'll have a 1080 added to it pretty soon. And then eventually, Threadripper. The new one. Third gen. Because uh, the, the only second gen's out. And I know, we're talking Zen 3. Uh, so that'd be Ryzen 5000. Um, I know, it's confusing. And what's weird is Zen 3 is actually Zen 2.5. I recall uh, they kept screwing that up but it's a huge improvement and i need cores and i need a bigger newer platform my gpu and auxiliary stuff is doing fine so uh, if you want any more walkthrough or something on these pieces let me know as well i'll see what i can do for you